Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you happen to be at the time you have decided to tune into the We Power Daily Podcast. I'm your host, P. Anthony, a.k.a. The Underground Professor. And you know the We Power Daily Podcast is birthed out of coaching sessions that I have with my clients. Coaching sessions that I have with my clients. And so I try to pull topics out of those sessions that I believe will help motivate you, encourage you, inspire you to stick and stay on your journey to next level success and whatever that happens to look like uh, for you. So today's topic um, is the why. Why? Really identifying your why and how to identify your why and being able to understand and measure your why up against your true passion and allowing that to be strong enough when the times are tough, when the going gets rough, when, um, you need a breakthrough when you need something to happen or you need to meet somebody or you need to uh, dig down deep to go a little further to put in the extra uh, that you need. When you feel like giving up, you have to check yourself and you have to go back and um, look at your why. Why? Are you doing what you're doing? Why are you in this space? Why are you uh, why are you here? What is your why? And how do you define your why? How do you identify your why? And what makes your why important? When you look at your why, does your why have enough power in it to be for you to be sustainable when you hit a bump in the road is your why strong enough does your why have sustainability that when things are not going well you can stick and stay you can hunker down you can bear down you can call time out you can pause for your cause but you will not give up you will not quit your why is strong enough to help you keep moving forward to help you keep pressing harder to press forward to reach that next level success is your why strong enough when you start out you've got a good team or you believe you have a good team and you discover that their why didn't line up with your why and now people are falling off your team or people are not holding up to their end of the bargain or they're not living up to uh, your expectations and so then you got to you got to go back in, to your desk you got to go back in your closet and and define your why look at your why and see and measure your why is your why strong enough does your why have sustainability power when Things are not going so well when things are going great, when things, all your I's are dotted, your T's are crossed, things are lining up, your your, uh, numbers are going in the right direction. When things are going well, we still have to remember our why. And a lot of times when things are going so well, our why can kind of shift and become unbalanced and you have to go back and recalibrate your why. And so just want to drop that uh, in your thought process for today on this We Power Daily. Now your why, as I define my why, my POV for my why, is your why when you are involved in doing something um especially in serving communities, especially 
in social service, um, especially in um, being an entrepreneur, living an entrepreneur lifestyle. The way that I identify my why, my why has to be for the purpose of benefiting someone or community where the value of my why is significantly greater than myself. The value of my why has a tremendous value in benefiting someone other than myself, someone greater than myself, someone where if I can complete my assignment, if I can reach the next level of success and whatever it is that I'm doing, if, if it's social work, ministry, if it's business, if I can identify and pinpoint my why, that it will be something significantly greater than myself. It, if it's operating in a transcendent cause where it has a value that's benefiting others who may not necessarily be in a position to return uh, the service or pay me back when I identify my why. My why has to bring value, has to bless others significantly greater than me. My why cannot be solely for my personal gain or my personal benefit. When we're doing it for ourselves, it's easy to take a hit. It's easy to um, put it off. It's easy to... Um, just let 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 some things pass but when your why is something significantly greater than yourself especially when it comes to your family your children uh your community um and god has placed in you to have a desire in your heart god has put a desire in your heart to want to see those around you win, to want to see those around you taken care of, to want to see those around you blessed. When you uh, drive down the street and you you see a situation, a person in, uh, in not such a favorable situation, um, a homeless person and one of the places that uh, I'm serving now uh, I had an experience with an elderly lady sharing her situation with me, how she was homeless, and she just was released from uh, jail, and she was just sharing her story with me, and she grabbed, she grabbed my heart with her story, and, and it really made me identify my why. This is why I'm doing what I'm doing, because I want to be in a position to be able to help her with her situation. And when you go and you look and you check your why, you measure your why. My measuring stick is my why has to have sustainability power. And in that, my why has to benefit, have a value significantly greater than myself. My why has to benefit those around me, benefit those who are in my immediate community, my family, my friends, and doing it to make those lives around me better, doing it to help this elderly lady be able to have a place to lay her head at night, be able to know that she can have a home cooked meal and being able to lead and direct her to the right services that will help her, that will bless her without expecting anything from her in return. I was able to lead her and to direct her to some resources that can help her. And I may never see this lady again. 
But when I look at my why, that's my why to be able to have a, a value, a benefit, a blessing, a transcendent cause of, to be able to bless someone, to have my why to be so strong that it's significantly greater than just my own personal gain, my own personal benefit. I want to thank you for tuning in to the We Power Daily podcast. And I'm your host, P. Anthony, a.k.a. The Underground Professor. I would like to encourage you to also check out uh, my YouTube channels. They will be in the, in the uh, description. And like, share uh, if you like, and share if you like, and help uh, get the podcast abroad. What is your why? What is your why? And is your why strong enough? Does your why carry enough power to sustain you through when things don't go right? When times get difficult, when people walk away? I want to encourage you to check your why. Measure your why. And does your why have a benefit? significantly greater than yourself. Thank you. And as Zig Ziglar would say, have a better than good day.